this tutorial we'll be looking at Photo Director's Blur Effects tools. When shooting photos we can use camera settings to achieve blur by changing depth of field to focus on a subject or accenting motion by adjusting shutter speed. Whether you want to replicate shallow depth of field, layer photos, remove distracting backgrounds or add motion effects, Photo Director's Blur Tools will help. Let's take a look at how they work. We access the Blur Tools in the Edit module under Photo Effects. There are three main tools, Circular, Linear and Freeform Brush. Using the circular blur tool, set the focus area and gradient range. Select the blur type, soft focus, bucky, radial or focal zoom and adjust the blur degree. When switching photos, Photo Director prompts you to save for export for further editing. With this action shot, we'll accent the motion with focal zoom. These photos have been edited using the circular blur tool. Linear Blur has similar controls. Set the focus zone and gradient area by manipulating the lines. Direction is changed by dragging the center line. Finally, set the blur degree. Once the mask and gradient lines are adjusted, choose the blur type. Under Bucky, there are four options that will suit different photos. At any time, edited photos can be exported by using Export or Save To buttons. Here are some examples of linear blur. Finally, the blur brush. At first the whole photo is blurred. Set the blur degree with the slider. The cleaner brush is used to clear the effect from an area. Adjust the brush size, feather and strength to suit the object. Next, Brush off the blur effect from the subject. Zoom in for accurate edges. And continue until the job is done. In this example, we'll blur a face in the crowd by blurring everything and then cleaning the effect from the rest of the crowd. The eraser can be used to re-blur spaces and tidy up the subject. Along with Photo Director's suite of photo editing tools, the blur effect gives us some great possibilities for enhancing photos.